Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about my Gucci loafer collection. Now, I do own four pairs, but um, in three different styles. And I think that this video would be super informative for those who are interested in investing in a pair, maybe you only want to get one pair, want to make sure that you make the best choice. So, before I start the video, if you are new here, I just wanted to say hi, my name is Shauna, and I put up videos once a week, usually on Tuesdays. I make videos about luxury handbags, shoes, um, basically anything luxury. I also put up videos about fashion, high street hauls such as Zara and Nordstrom, stuff like that. So definitely subscribe if you like those kind of videos. Hit my notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload and definitely check me out on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle down below. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. The first pair I'm going to be talking about are my Brixton loafers. Now these I got maybe about three years ago. I got them in the black classic color and they are the ones that go, um, they're convertible. So they go up or down like this. And the reason why I purchased these was because at the time I was thinking, okay, what's going to be my only pair? What am I going to get the most use out of? And I was thinking that because I can wear them up and down, I would be able to get a lot of use out of them. So before I tell you the, the cons about these shoes, let me tell you the pros about them. Now, the fact that you can wear them in all types of weather, meaning that you can wear them close when the weather is colder and then down when the weather is warmer. The leather is super, super buttery soft, um, much softer than any other pair that I own. So they are great for wearing long, long hours. I wear these to work a lot and yes, they are super, super comfortable. In fact, all of the, all of the um, Gucci shoes that I own are extremely comfortable. Um, now onto the cons. The leather being that they are so, so smooth and buttery, they do show wear quite pretty fast, I would say. Um, like I said, these are three years old, so they are really worn in. But you can see, like, really, I would say after a couple weeks of wearing them, um, you were starting to see those little lines in there. And yeah, now the cons of having the um, convertible is that you will get somewhere I'm actually just seeing this I don't know if you guys can see but there is some cracking on the back of this and that's just because I mainly wear these down and it's funny because I thought that I would mainly wear them up but I actually purchased these in half a size too small I don't know why I did that I'm normally a size 38 and I went with a size 37 and a half just for reference I am a true size 8 US um, don't ask me why I decided to go down half a size. I have no idea So that's probably why I do mainly wear them down because when I wear them when I wear the backs up It tends to hurt me a little bit after some time. So definitely true to size with these I know people kind of say that they're up and down with sizes But for me, I think in all of these I would be a true 38 So that is my bricks and loafers. Would I recommend these for somebody? Yes, I would as long as you don't mind how soft it is and that there will be some wear and that you're mostly going to be wearing them up but like the option of having them down. So my next pair, I, I'm going to go in order of the ones that I purchased first. So my next pair were these pink Prince Towns. Now I actually think that these pink are the perfect color. They go with everything. They're a neutral color. They're not like too pink. Um, they literally go with everything. They have quite some wear to them. I resold the bottoms twice and now I'm noticing I'm getting some ripping here. However, I wore these to death. I think that these are also two or three years old. Um, I got these in a size 37 and a half. I also made the same mistake or I, you know what guys, I actually think my feet grew a little bit when I was pregnant. And never went back down to size because these at one point did fit me and because they were backless I think that that's why I did go down half of a size um, and they did stretch so I don't know definitely try these on before purchasing but I don't have any complaints about these the leather is a little bit it's pretty similar to the Brixton's but I think just a little bit more stiff now you can see that there is some wear with them like I said, I'm saying over here, but like I said, I have these for two years now and 
These are extremely comfortable. If you're thinking about getting a color other than black, I would highly recommend the pinks. They go with neutrals, grays, blacks, everything. Um, if you wanna see how I style them, make sure to check out my Instagram. Like I said, I will have it linked down below. I will also have all these shoes linked down below as well. Um, and yes, these are one of my favorite pairs. I do have to get that the leather fixed there. But I highly recommend the Prince Towns. And you will see how much I love the Prince Towns that I ended up picking up these black ones with the stars and the bees. I think these are probably my favorite pair just because of the stars and the bees. I think it's so cool. Now what's funny about these is that the leather is a little bit more stiff than my pink ones. You can probably, I do have my pink ones for longer, but I don't know if you can really tell, but um, I think the ones with the embroidery on them are a little bit more stiff, which makes them a little bit more durable, and that is why I do think I also love these as well. Um, I also got these in a 37 and a half. Don't ask, guys, but I do highly recommend them, and I do really love them, um, the Prince Towns. Now, on to my last pair. This is my newest edition, the Gucci Jordan Loafers. Guys, these feel like freaking butter. I was afraid that I wasn't going to love them as much as I love my Prince Towns, only because they are not leather. Um, the inside is all lined in leather, but the outside isn't, so I just felt like those were gonna be a little bit more comfortable. The Prince Towns, I mean. Um, but when I slipped my foot into these, it felt like freaking butter. I have not worn them yet. As you can see, they are brand new. I scored these at a crazy retarded price. If you guys want to see a video on how I um, score really good deals on designer, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Um, but these are freaking beautiful. I wanted them the second I saw them. They are the canvas print on the back they have like a leather stripe in the cognac color i also saw these on crazy sale at nordstrom's for i think it was let's say 416 dollars. i actually paid less for these um but it was in like a burgundy red color not the bright red the burgundy and those are stunning um but these i feel like would go with a lot more and i mean i'm wearing them with these i would wear them with these today and um guys i think that if I were to choose, it, this is so hard because it's hard for me to choose one. However, I think I would go with the Jordans, guys. I think they're most classic. I think you can wear them all year round. You can wear them in the summer. You can wear them in the winter. Um, and my second pair would be like an embroidered Princetown, I think. But I do love all of them, guys. I love these too. It's really hard to pick. I think that my first choice would be the Jordan, and my last choice would be the Brixton. My sister owns these in the pink, and she also said the same thing, that the wear shows up pretty quickly. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I, I'm trying to think of what else I could say. Oh, I got these in the 38. So, I did write with this size. A true 38, they did not run small, completely true to size. I have no issues with this at all. I wore them around the house, and so, so comfortable. Um, I have heard people say that they sized up with this. However, I think if I did go with the 38, it would have been perfect. Um, what else? I really would love to add a Princetown in the basic black because I'm just a little bit upset that I got this in the smaller size. So I'm actually considering picking these up in regular black in the Princetown. Um, style not the Brixton like these I just wear these shoes so much to work I'm on my feet all day long and I can wear these all day like they are so 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 comfortable um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video I'm thinking of doing a designer shoe collection video so if you guys want to see that please let me know down below and what else oh i will be doing a giveaway so keep your eye out for that video like i mentioned make sure that you have you hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload a video so that you don't miss out on my giveaway and yes i hope you guys 
have a great holiday or if the holidays pass i hope you enjoyed your holidays and i'm looking forward to seeing making more videos in the new year so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next one bye